All right. So today uh, I'm going to start working on doing a ROPS canopy for the tractor because it's starting to get warm. It's got no shade cover on it at all and uh, gets pretty hot and nasty riding it around all day. Uh, they price them out for whatever reason, for as basic and common as canopies are. They are kind of ridiculously priced. Um, and if I'm going to spend that kind of money, then I want to wait until I can spend for the, for the top style that I like. There's a uh, small company in North Carolina. It's called Cool Tops. And they incorporate a fan system in there. Uh, that's the one I really want. And it's not too expensive versus like a production, like, like a like manufacturer specific made top or even the universal ones. Uh, so I, I think that's where I'm going to be. But for right now, that won't be this season and I need a canopy. I happen to have, pointing at the ground, you probably can't see it, but I got uh, some half inch rigid conduit laying around from some other projects and I'm going to bend it up. Basically, I'm going to make a four foot wide by five foot long uh, rectangle with a couple of strips down the middle for a little bit extra support. Then I gotta figure out some way to get a stand on it or something so that I can clamp it to the rocks. And yeah, that's pretty much gonna be it. I've got an old tarp and I've got an old, I don't know, one of those 10 by 10 pop-up tents, uh, the very end corner of it ripped. So it's that nice white with the silver reflective inner lining and things like that. I think I'm going to try to use those two objects to create the actual the tarp piece of the canopy. And we'll go from there, see how it gets. Uh, hopefully this works out pretty easy, um, but with my luck, probably won't. Let's see, maybe I can show you some of the, uh, some of the components. Because all you really see is my propane tank and a little bit of scrap metal. But there you go. I got two pieces of half inch EMT, a conduit bender. I got old black tarp over there. And then in my corner here, that's the new, uh, the new top to that 10 by 10 tent. So I think between all the pieces, I can get something done. Oh, and what I'm going to do uh, to mount the crossbars is I found these. They're CPVC, so Charlie, Charlie, Papa, Charlie, Victor, right? I don't know. I don't remember. Probably vinyl chloride. Yeah, okay, so Charlie, Papa, Victor, Charlie. And so they're not the same size as your regular Schedule 40 stuff. This is what fits it. And this, with just a little massaging will actually go into a piece of the conduit. So that's what I'm gonna to use to make the connections to do the front and rear beams. And yeah, I guess now it's just bend up some tubing and see how bad I can do this. All right, um, as some of you probably guessed or saw, I didn't get it quite bent where I wanted. I am not, uh, never been super good with bending pipe. Like I can make brake lines and fuel lines, transmission lines, stuff like that. I do 
a really good job getting my bins where I want them. You can see here, I maybe okay. This is where I wanted the bin to start, and I bent it the wrong direction. So what we're going to end up with, I can still cut, I can cut these down to the width that I want, that four feet. But instead of it being four foot wide, five feet long, it's going to be like four feet wide and four feet nine inches long. Um, and that's just me. I, I'm not good at it. And, you know, I probably should have taken better time and care to pay attention to what I was doing a little better or something. But it'll still work in the end. And I could do it this way because then it'll be be a little bit wider than what I wanted and then a little bit longer and I could always cut down and then run my support braces this way uh, but in all honesty not having it five feet long isn't going to be a big deal breaker on that I think I really could have gotten away with like a four foot by three foot um, but I wanted it a little wider and a little longer because so I think what I'm going to do once I get it on the tractor is I'm going to tweak tweak the sides down a little bit and tweak the back down a little bit but it's going to depend on how rigid everything comes together and yeah just how I feel once the once the project's like done I guess so I need to get to cutting these down I guess I need to grab a third stick I hope I have a third stick I just need to grab another full stick so I can make my make my straight lengths and we'll go from there as you know, I am one of the most prepared and organized people on the internet doing videos. And, uh, yeah, I didn't have any PVC glue. Yeah. So, I did manage to scrounge up. I wasn't going to use my good epoxy, but I have a, I keep a couple of these Harbor Freight ones around because they, they do work. Um, they're not as good as, like, the 3M, in my personal opinion, but they do work. And I also found a bunch of little scraps of this stuff. So, instead of cutting up my one long piece... Uh, as you see my kids assembling it all for me I will just use some of that goop and put them all together I'm not gonna I'm not gonna glue them into the conduit when I cut and fit them to the conduit uh, they will get sheet metal screws go through I just wanted to glue the tubing into these little T's and help keep it from moving but yeah always remember to have all your pieces when you start a project instead of just thinking you have all your pieces
All right, so we've made it this far, and uh, you probably saw where I had to recut these guys because I didn't do math very well in my head and cut it too short and then had to cut more off of it. But I think this will do, for the most part, what I want it to do, go over top of the thing. Uh, not 100% not perfect. Now I'm getting ready to do screws and uh, got a bunch of half inch long number six pan head screws and what I'm going to do is run them uh, through the conduit where the conduit meets the inner tube. Now in some of these when I was putting it together you know five minute epoxy but you're supposed to let it sit what like 24 hours before it's fully set you know um, and it was super high quality Harbor Freight five minute epoxy so uh, I felt some of it give so I think what I'm gonna do also hadn't really planned on it uh, at first but I think I'm gonna screw in both sides of these T's so that the PVC is screwed into the PVC and the conduit is screwed into the PVC and nothing's really gonna move on me that at that point nothing's gonna uh, shake apart anything like that everything's gonna have a mechanical fixture and not just chemically bonded so I think that's where I think that's where we're at right now, but it's coming together pretty well. I really don't think I'm going to need a center support, uh, but you know we'll we'll figure this out as time goes. Let's see, can I squish that down any? Maybe. Eh, it's fine. This is just throw together anyway. So let's see if I can get this fixed, and heck, I might be ready to start mounting it later. That would be a miracle in its own right. All right, well, me being super good at this YouTube video filming whole shebang thing, I uh, forgot to turn the bolt camera on. So I'll just show you real quick. That's basically what I did. Just random holes uh, in here, half inch sheet metal screws, number six. And it's not too bad. It's a little flobbity. Uh, maybe a lot flobbity. Okay, looks like I'm gonna have to flip it over and, and do the same thing on the other side All right, so this is about what I got Ended up putting six screws on both sides of that the tarp That I have measures out to like oh geez. I just measured it uh, seven and a half feet by nine and a half feet um, So I think they're advertised as like an eight by ten um, Obviously, it's too big uh, I've got to come up with something. Maybe fold it. Like it might be able to fold it in half. And then just be able to fold. Like fold the long end in half. Maybe fold it from here. Up to there. Turn this framework 90 degrees. And. I'm going to figure out how I'm going to attach it into the framework. Uh. Sheet metal screws? Probably sheet metal screws. Yeah. Um, maybe tie it. I don't know yet. I have to play around and see what I can figure out.
All right, well, like I said, self tappers and fender washers. Just kind of put it around, folded it under and over and everything else. And it's just a, uh, yeah, like I said, that's an old tarp. So, yeah, it's not great, but it should get the job done. I'm trying to maneuver it so I can back up enough. Yeah, there we go. And it's almost, it's almost square. But I'm hoping that gives me enough, enough shade. I think I'm going to offset it probably yay far. So I don't know what it is. Like, like 8 inches, 10 inches uh, back from the rops. Or basically my, my rops bar will be here. Um, so that'll, that'll hang the back side. This will be to the front side. Now I just got to figure out a way to get it to mount to it. Um, because those are perpendicular to the rock bar. These, doop, doop, these here are going to be perpendicular and not parallel. So I think I need to come in back here, screw something in. I need to screw something across. I'm just going to drop this back on the ground. There we go. Screw something across from here over there that I can then clamp to the top of the ROPS bar. And that should do it. It is not late enough for me to stop, but it is hot and humid enough that I have sweat through everything and I think I'm going to stop for now. So hopefully when we pick this up, it'll be a new day, a little cooler, a little uh, sun won't be quite as vibrant as what it is right now and uh, i can get this finished up it also give me time to hunt around my garage and see if i can find something to put there i'm not really sure what i want to do i guess i could take a i don't really want to take a piece of round bar yeah taking a piece of flat bar and doing it i don't know i gotta I'm just gonna have to look and play around i know i don't have any flat uh, U-bolts. The only U-bolts I've got that are big enough to do this are going to be exhaust U-bolts. Um, hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think, uh, you have to think about this a little bit. Alright, so we got the canopy mounted in all of its glory. I know, you got a $30,000 tractor and you put a $20 canopy on it. I uh, went to the hardware store and I got a couple of, uh, little U-brackets weren't quite the right size. I probably should have showed this on film. I took pictures of it, put it on Instagram. Uh, but I ended up splitting them. The widest they had was four inches, and this bar is about four and a half inches across. So I cut them, thread them, and dropped some coupling nuts that I had in there. I uh, ran these extra bars. It's from an old bed frame, like a floor mount bed frame, and I kept a bunch of pieces from it because it not the greatest, but it was all steel, so that was kind of nice. It makes it easy to make little, quick little things out of. I might have to come up um, with some kind of like arm support. I don't know, uh, but if I do, I'll probably come off of one of, probably come off of this bolt right here, and then come up. Uh, it's, let's say it's not as deep as I wanted it to be. I really wanted it to be five feet, but looking at it now. I'm kind of glad that it's not five foot, um, that it is, that it was a bit shorter. Uh, it's a little over, you know, it's like four foot nine, I think is what it ends up being. Uh, I put the rear of those two black bars at nine inches inboard of the rear of that. I don't think, you know, I'm doing this quick and dirty because it gives me something to do. I had most all of the scraps. I mean, honestly, with the CPV, CPVC T's and those two U-bolts there, I'm $20 into this. Everything else was just laying around the garage. So, I mean, even the guys that go and get the $30 uh, golf cart roofs, you know, they're... You're still in it more than I am. And I would like that. I'd like to find something a little bit better. But I think for this season, if this gets me through the season uh, with just a little bit of shade, that should give me the time to uh, 
get everything together and get the actual top that I want. Uh, like I say, you should go check out companies called Cool Tops. And I think it's a really nifty idea. You know, it's got a nice big fan in it to blow the air. It sucks air in, blows it down on you. Sure, it's probably going to be hot air if you're out here doing it in the middle of the summer. Uh, but any substantial air movement is better than no air movement. And I'd have to imagine it helps keep things like the flies and the gnats and stuff like that uh, away from you at least a little bit. You know, they're not going to, uh, you got a 2000 CFM fan or whatever it ends up being. I guess I, I got that. Sorry, tangent, looking at it from the front end for like the first time. I did not get that even at all whatsoever. Oh, well, uh, it's just loosening, loosening nuts and fixing it. Anyway, yeah, go check out Cool Tops. Um, and hopefully next time I do something, I will have a, a real genuine official top and not just some, uh, hobo garbage that I threw together in, you know, a couple of hours over the course of two days. All right, everybody have fun.